Here we go. All right. Do I want to be the very best like no one ever was? Yes, I do. <laughs> Who doesn't? Nice, uh... Call back to that intro. So, yeah. Welcome to another Pokemon stream. I've been busy this past week. Quite busy. And I'm going to wait until at least a few more people show up before I get into this, but, um, yeah, I said I might do some, I might play a bit on my own time, and I definitely, definitely did that. I think I played this, like, for a week. <laughs> Just kind of nonstop. Um, and I caught quite a few Pokemon, which, uh, I mean, it's, it's fun. I'm definitely getting into it. It's a fun game. And, um, yes, I'm totally stalling so more people show up. Uh, <laughs> but, um, yeah. It's, um, been interesting. Hey, Day. Um, yeah. Yeah. 48 caught. <laughs> and I'm going to show off all of them. Um, in fact, let's get to that. Currently, my party is just, uh, just my starter. Just Astolfo. Uh, and I've organized, I've got so many that I've organized it by different, like, series and stuff. And, uh, we'll start with the MLP ones, which, uh, yes, my first one is Rarity, my Ralts. Um, which, uh, thank you to Jugio. By the way, for uh, helping me <laughs> get this one, it was actually the first Pokemon I caught after the stream uh, last Monday. Because uh, yeah, Jugio set up the raid for it. Um, so yeah, then we have Chrysalis the Combi, which. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Might not make the most sense, but I actually had no idea what to, what to name this one, so I kind of cheated and looked ahead and saw what the evolution looked like. Um, which I'm trying not to do for most things, but uh, yeah, clearly they're going for some kind of Hive Queen type thing there, so I thought it was good. Uh, next we have Mod, the Roggenrola, who we met last time. And uh, here's Fluttershy, the Gossy Floor. Um... Which I saw that thing. That thing is adorable, by the way. I really, really like that design. And it immediately said Fluttershy to me. Just, uh... It just has that look. Um... Then Derpy the Slowpoke, who, again, we met last time. Applejack the Mudbray, who... Yeah, I think that was at the end of last time. I finally... <laughs> I don't remember, actually. I mean, I know I fought that Mudbray. I don't remember if I caught... Applejack on stream. I think I did. But anyway, I did catch one. And you'll notice the disparity in levels. That's because most of the Pokemon that I caught, I think, or at least a good portion of them were caught in raid battles. Like Fluttershy definitely was. So that's why she's level 20. Um, and that's all the pony ones so far. Um... Oh, you're watching Evangelion. That's interesting, dog. The bee thing is cute. Yes, it is. <laughs> Cuter than a chrysalis should be. Why, Rarity? It's because of what it evolves into. I mean, this form is not really anything special. But I know what this Pokemon... I, I'm familiar with this one. So I know what it evolves into. And uh, it's worth being called Rarity. Um, so that's the that's the... MLP ones. Next we got Ruby, starting with uh, Ruby herself, who was a Badoo. Uh, again, because of the evolution. I mean, it's the Rose Pokemon, so I'm kind of going for pun. Though, I mean, her power literally is to turn into Rose Petals, so it kind of makes sense for her to be a Grass-type. 
Um, but yeah, Ruby Roselia is going to be a thing. Then we have Weiss, which uh, this is another one where I wasn't quite sure. So I looked ahead, and I saw that it has a branching evolution, which is good to know in advance. And one of the two evolutions looks like it uh, is a pretty good fit for Weiss. So we have Weiss the Snow Runt. Um, and, of course, Blake the Purloin, who we have uh, already become pretty well acquainted with. Uh, and then we have Yang the Charmander. Uh, <laughs> because it is definitely a sunny little dragon. And, uh, yeah, it burns. So, um, good stuff there. Nora the Emperor, who we, uh, already saw. And then Neapolitan the Vanillite, I, I couldn't help myself. I didn't want to at first because, um, I mean, it doesn't really make too much sense for Neo to be an ice type. But, uh, I mean, it's an ice cream Pokemon. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? <laughs> it's literally ice cream. So, um, it just works. And then Fiona the Wulu, who's, uh, been around for a while. That's the Ruby crew. Um, male Gardevoir is a thing, by the way. Lol. Uh, <laughs> okay. I mean, of course. Have Wulu be your main. Ah, uh, we'll see. Next we have Fire Emblem, and we're starting with the one that I'm particularly interested to show off. This is Dorothea the Skine, which I assume that's how you say that? I, I mean, I assume the Ne comes from, like, Onesan, because it's like a big sister. Though I could be entirely wrong. Um, and you'll notice it is evolved. It was originally a Bounce Suite, because, as that says, I caught it at level 20. And apparently it evolves uh, either at level 21 or before that. Uh, but it got a level, and it was entirely unintentional. I took it camping. I wanted to because, I mean, it was adorable. And you may have already noticed, but it's a shiny. And it's my only shiny so far. So I wanted to take it camping and spend some time with it. Um, and for whatever reason, just one single camping excursion was enough to get an get an entire level. Almost two, as you can see. I mean, there's only 220 points needed for the next level, and that's all from just that one camping excursion. So uh, I don't know how, why that's the case. I mean, it got like four times as much experience as any other Pokemon I took on that camping excursion. Um, so I have no idea what's uh, up with that, but... Uh, yeah, unfortunately. I was hoping not to have anything evolve off-stream, but, um... Because I've been trying to minimize experience that I gain. In fact, I've been mostly doing just raid battles. So, while I've been catching Pokemon, the Pokemon that I have already caught haven't been gaining any levels from it. But I just... One time, I really wanted to go camping. Uh, and... I wasn't expecting to get that much experience. But, uh, it happened. But, uh, that's Dorothea. This is Edelgard. <laughs> Which is kind of interesting. I mean, it's, uh... Just... It's this big, imposing steel type. That, uh... Can tank, tank a lot of hits. I mean, it's got, like, 49 defense. Which is crazy. So I just immediately thought of Edelgard. I mean, for steel types, gotta go to the, like, armored-up waifus. Uh, I mean, she might resent being a dragon type, but, uh, <laughs> other than that, I think it fits. Uh, then we have Sothis the Trap Inch, which, yes, I did find the den that was full of dragons. So I, I made sure to catch a Tramp Inch, which I, uh, I am familiar with. I, uh, know it does evolve into a dragon, so that's why it's, I named it Sothis. I mean, at this stage, it's not really the best fit, but, I mean, it kind of works. I don't know, just something... Something about that face actually kind of fits her. Uh, and I don't know why. 
Then we have Shamir the Sneasel, which I think is a pretty perfect fit. Just, I mean, even the arms crossed, it just sort of gives out that similar vibe and being a dark type and all that. I mean, even the ice type, I actually looked it up, and if you do teach re reason to Shamir, uh, basically all the magic that she learns is ice spells. So uh, it, it's kind of a great fit. I don't like that she's timid. I mean, these natures are pretty much all wrong. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> that's a separate issue. Um, but yeah, I was pleased with uh, that acquisition. Uh, Mercedes the Oddish, that's a bit of a different one. Um, I mean, she is kind of an odd character, but obviously I plan to make this a Blossom eventually, so it'll be just nice and pleasant, like she is. Uh, and then we have some non-Three Houses characters, starting with Effie, the Cufant, which Effie was one of my favorite characters in Fates, so, uh, I, uh, and again, it's a Steel type, so I went to another heavily armored waifu. Um... And, uh, I just thought it was a good fit. I mean, even the name Effie is kind of a good name for a cute little elephant. And, uh, then Kagero, the Ninkata. Because, I mean, it's a ninja. <laughs> ninja bug Pokemon. Gonna name it after the ninja girl. Um, I couldn't think of a better ninja girl to name it after, so I went with Kagero, who is a pretty great one. Best, uh, best girl on the birthright side of things that uh, isn't Rajat, but that's basically just Tharja again, so I don't really count that. Um, so that's the Fire Emblem bunch. Uh, <laughs> I'm just checking the chat in between. Life is pain. <laughs> oh, people reacting to the shiny... Already forgot about pressing B to stop evolution. Yeah, I know. Um... For casual story play, the nature shouldn't matter too much. I, I know, but it still kind of annoys me. Like, I mean, that they just that it doesn't fit the character. <laughs> it just feels weird. Like, uh, I mean, Dorothy, I guess. I mean, no, she's not jolly at all. And uh, Edelgard isn't particularly naive. And Soth is, I guess, is kind of rash. But uh, Shamira is anything but timid. And Mercedes really isn't brave. And, uh, okay, that one kind of fits um so does that one but uh for the most part they're just completely off and it's just <laughs> kind of annoying anyway next batch is love live which yes i mean we started with honika last time and uh i kind of want to complete the sets for love live for whatever reason and it has a lot of characters so it's a good thing to pull names from because i'm going to catch a lot of pokemon so yeah we have uh honika the growlith and uh, next we have Umi the Wimpod, which this might be a bit controversial for the Umi fans. I mean, this isn't exactly the most flattering Pokemon. But, uh, I mean, she's kind of skittish as her personality. She uh, doesn't want to be in the spotlight at first. And it's a water type, and her name's Umi, which means sea. So um, I wanted to make her a water type. And uh, I don't know. <laughs> It's maybe a little mean, but um, I, I had no idea what to name this thing, gonna be honest. I I don't know, though. I kind of like it, so that's why I caught it. But uh, then we have this, which is uh, Katori, probably a little less controversial. Minkino, it's just cute. Katori's just cute, so uh, I think it's a good fit. And uh, this Dwebble is Hanio, <laughs> which I don't know. I think just the face... The the round face and the big eyes, because, I mean, she had her glasses at the start. Um, I, I just... I, I don't know. These Love Live ones are weird. <laughs> <laughs> then going on to the Sunshine Crew, my Bonsley is named Hanamaru. Um, which, uh... I'm, I, I don't... I don't know. It just kind of fits, I think. I just... <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not really sure about this. This one I'm sure about. This one I just... I saw this thing and I immediately... Oh, okay, that's my Yoshiko. Uh, just a dark type that looks like that. Like just this ridiculous... Uh, <laughs> this ridiculous fat chicken thing. <laughs> just, I don't know. 
<laughs> I think it fits perfectly. Um, yeah. And uh, this is Mari, the cutie fly. Um, which I think even the name there sounds kind of like a Mari thing. And I like that it's a fairy type. I think Mari as a fairy type makes a lot of sense. And, uh, yeah. That's all for Love Live at the moment, though, so, um, it'll, I'll definitely get more. <laughs> I mean, we got nine each, potentially. Though it's interesting, because, I mean, I already have a ruby. Uh, so, I guess maybe I'll get two rubies, because I gotta get Love Live ruby, too. And, uh, same for Reen, who we're starting with here. I also already have a Reen, but this is supposed to be Reen Tosaka. Uh, our mage from Fate. Um, which I was kind of, there were a lot of things I could have named this one. This Esper. But I went with Reen because the ears kind of, they kind of give me that twin tail vibe. I don't know. And it being a psychic type, obviously got to name it something kind of magical. And, um, yeah. It just seemed... Like a decent fit. And this is uh, Elma, the Magikarp, which uh, seems a little cruel, but uh, I mean, we all know what it evolves into. And if, you ever, if you've ever seen Elma's dragon form, you'll know that that's a pretty perfect fit. Um, so, yeah. And uh, speaking of Dragon Maid, we got Toru now, and she's an Axu, which I'm not really sure if there's a better dragon type for Toru out there. There might be, but I saw this one and I thought it was pretty good, so I just went ahead and pulled that trigger. Um, so, yeah, because it's pretty cute, and I think I think it makes a good Toru. We have uh, Suyu the Temple, which, I mean, obviously it's a tadpole, so it's going to become a frog of some variety. So, uh, should be a good fit for, for uh, Su there. And this is my Ochiko. Um... Because, I mean, obviously she goes... This thing's clearly some sort of alien type thing. And uh, that's kind of what she goes for with her um, her costume. Just sort of a, like, space look. Just very space-themed for her gravity costume. So, uh, that's my thought. And it makes sense for her to be a psychic type, I think. Her abilities, they kind of are in that vein. Uh, Raftalia, who we met before... Philo, who I think we also met before, and who you guys just kind of rebelled over me not getting a male one. Uh, <laughs> oh, this one. Alba. Showing some new game love. I actually wasn't really sure what to name this thing until I remembered all the cute bear costume stuff from new game. And uh, then it just sort of hit me. I, uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of perfect. Uh, Madoka the Kleffa, I, I just, I mean, it's pink, it's cute, it's, uh, it's magical and hopeful. I think it's a good Madoka. Uh, Fenico the Nicket, we met her before. Oh, and then we get to the zombies. <laughs> so far I'm naming all my ghost types after Zombieland saga characters. Starting with Ty the Dust Skull, which I just, I don't know, this thing kind of gives me a Ty vibe. That's kind of why I went there I, I just yeah and uh, this one's my Sakura Pumpkaboo I just it, it's kind of cute I mean especially going by the lower face I mean it kind of has two faces the one in the uh, the one at the top and then the pumpkin face but the pumpkin face seeing that I thought kind of oh that's <laughs> that kind of fits for Sakura in a weird way um so, I don't know. And then we have Junko, uh, Junko the Drifloon. And, uh, yeah, kind of a more morbid reason for uh, that naming choice. It being a flying ghost type. And uh, considering how she died. So, uh, that's great. <laughs> Next, Ryuko the Rookadee who we met before, and uh, this thing has not been named yet, but it's a Cell Pokemon, so my thought is to probably name it after something from Cells at Work, but I don't really know all the characters yet, so I'm kind of waiting until I know them better, but I still want to catch it, 
so I did. But uh, the name will come later for that one. Um, and that's just general anime. Because there isn't another anime yet that uh, needs its own box. Uh, next we have Game, which is fairly unpopulated, but uh, we start with Laichi, who I did catch last time, but I kind of gave her a different name. I did rename her to Laichi, though, which was a suggestion from one of you guys, I think Leader Without a Plan. And it's a much better name than what I had before, which was Chie, but uh, Laichi, of course, actually has a panda theme. It has a little panda in her hair and everything. Um, so it's pretty perfect. And uh, she's a badass fighter. I just... I. Ha she hasn't been on my mind because, I mean, they skipped her. They skipped her entirely for a uh, cross-tank battle. So, uh, haven't actually seen her in a while. But, uh, great waifu. And this is my Makoto, which I almost don't want to do this because it... I mean, that look at that thing. It's kind of ridiculous. It's just really kind of... I don't know. I don't like it. But I, 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 I was on the fence about even catching this one, so I kind of looked ahead again and saw what it evolved into. And the evolution is actually cool. And the evolution is worth naming Makoto after, because it's a steel type, and uh, it's got those cool claws, and I just... I don't know. I think it works. So I, uh, <laughs> I may have renamed this one, but I still got a Persona character in there, because I do plan to get more Persona. I do want to name more after Persona. Um, so yeah, those are video game characters. And now uh, we have cartoon characters who are not, uh, not MLP. And we're starting with this rock type, which is, of course, named Amethyst. Because why not? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, my thought there really is just, it's a rock. And she technically is also a rock. Uh, so, why not? Um, I mean, it rolls around. So I think it's kind of Amethyst-like in a sense. But, uh, I don't know. And I did catch a Caterpie. I initially wasn't going to. I mean, uh, I initially passed on Butterfree, as you might remember from last stream. But I saw a Caterpie in the in a raid battle, so I decided to catch one. Because I do like Butterfree. I just... I was, I'm, I'm less excited about the stuff that isn't new to me. So I was initially going to pass. I think part of the reason why I was so uh, initially ready to pass is because it seemed like we were starting with Metapod. Which, if I'm going to do it, I want to start from the beginning and kind of go through the whole evolution. So, uh, once I saw an actual Caterpie, I decided to catch it. Um, I mean, it'll probably be a quick evolution, because I think, uh, at this point, we would already have a Butterfree, usually. So, I don't know. And I named it Star, because, obviously, Star Butterfly. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> and then we have Marceline, who is this bat thing. Uh, Noibat. Which is a dragon type, which is kind of weird to me. It doesn't really look like a dragon. And that has me a little bit scared that it's going to be a bit less bat-like in the future, but, uh, um, I don't know. For now, it fits really well. And I can always rename it. <laughs> I do like how it's naughty, though. That, that, that's one where it actually fits. And that's everything for now. We have a box that is not yet named. I'm assuming with the rate these are going, that'll probably be Anime 2, though. Um... And, uh, yeah, that's everything. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely been busy. Caught a lot of Pokemon. Oh, you gotta build a team. But, uh, before I do that, let's check the... Let's check the... Chat. Mmm... Did I get tons of berries? Yes, I did get tons of berries. I'll show you my berries, I guess, dog. If you're so interested. I got tons of everything with all the raid battles I've done. I mean, look at that. God. But yeah, like I have... I have over a hundred of some berries. <laughs> and some of the rare ones, I just have one of these. So those must be really rare. I don't even know. Most of Poké Dolls. You actually have to have those, because, I mean, sometimes you'll accidentally run into, like, some crazy strong thing on the overworld. And, uh, yeah. Need to get away. 
Um, <laughs> even this. Look at that. Ah, uh, I don't know. I think I might have went overboard. For a naughty Pokemon, I should have named it Sunset. Nice, uh, <laughs> nice meme there. <laughs> the Magikarp needs water. Yes, yes, it does. Beware is OP in the anime. Pumpkaboo. Artie, I can help you evolve it since it's a trade of. Oh, okay, that's interesting. I'll have to. Though, do I want to evolve it yet? I mean, that's always the thing with trade of evolutions. Like, I mean, deciding when is best um because i mean it interferes with uh the moves it learns i'm pretty sure oh did notifications not go out for everyone is my score bunny a male yes it's my only male pokemon at the moment <laughs> and it's named astolfo so you should be happy about that crimson um Oh, you restarted the game 12 times to get a female? <laughs> okay. Well, that's kind of... I, I, I can respect that. But I just went ahead and named mine as Stolfo. I took the easy way out. Yeah, yeah, the... I, I The evolution is the only reason I caught Drillbur, honestly. Check DMs, okay, dog. And I liked it enough to uh, <laughs> name a character I really like after it uh oh yeah yeah that's uh pretty accurate that's very accurate for me dog just Melanie Melanie is what sold me <laughs> I need a rock type with a land of lustrous name yes I would love to do that that would be great I just haven't found the right rock type for that I need something kind of uh that has that right vibe to it um oh you actually had a butterfree name star too <laughs> I mean, it's the obvious name. Connect an internet if not. Um, okay. I don't know why I would need to connect to the internet. I'm going to mostly be doing... Um, I'm not going to be doing a lot of wild area today. So, uh... But I'll do it if you say so. Your sorting is blowing my mind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Where did I get that Charmander from? Um, uh, it was a raid battle. They're pretty common, honestly. They seem to be all over the place. Like, I swear if I, uh, uh, went for one of the, I mean, I guess there ain't any nearby, but if I went, like, half of those would probably be Charmanders. They're just everywhere. Don't overlevel because the game can get to the breeze. That's the thing I'm trying not to do. I mean, I'm not using any of those massive amounts of candy I have. I, uh, I've been trying not to get levels. So everything is, uh, the... I'm, and I'm not going to use anything, I'm not going to use any Pokemon I have that are over my base party level, which is 14. So, uh, until everything is level 15, I won't be using Rarity, for instance. So, uh, for now I'm only going to be using the level 14 Pokemon, which are, which are mostly the ones that I caught in the wild rather than in raid battles. Um... You can trade evolve any Pokemon. The moves are affected by stone evolution. Oh, okay. Oh, the, sure, then. I guess it's better to do it sooner. Better to evolve the Pokemon pumpkin now. Okay, so. Uh, good to know. I guess we'll have to sort that out. I guess I'll have to find someone willing to trade and then trade it back. Can I? Or... I don't know. Oh, people phasing in and out of existence. Kai. And I've been trying to stay off of the internet raid battles too, so that's another thing. 
Oh yeah, I was gonna put together a team of level 14 ones. Um... Oh, you'll... I guess we could do the trade right now. Um, thanks, Modest. I trust you, so, uh... How do I do this? Uh, link trade, I guess? Wait, start trade. Oh wait, no, that's not probably no. Do I set the code or? Oh, okay, yeah. This will be cool. Nice uh, trade to start us off. So let's trade Sakura. I kind of want though, one of those, but uh, <laughs> we'll, uh, oh. Perfume Pokemon, huh? So, uh, I'll have to think about what I want to name that. But, um, yeah, it's level 34, so it's probably better I trade it back. Oh, okay, no. So you don't actually get to see it evolve, because, uh, yeah. Oh, that's cute, though. I think it still works. <laughs> I mean, the starting evolution is more adorable, but... <laughs> Gorgeist. Oh, I guess he... Uh, Small-sized pumpkin boo. Oh, small... Is, is there are different sizes? Interesting. Oh, cool. I think there is a Charmander event right now, which is why there are so many. Probably. Um, <laughs> Charmander uh, just are everywhere, though. And so are so are these things, which is weird. And uh, also, uh, yeah, these. Those seem to be really common right now. And the trash one, which I didn't catch one of those, because, I mean, I don't... I'm not going to name... I mean, with a wife rule. I just... <laughs> Can't name uh, a literal bag of garbage 
after anyone. I wouldn't feel right. Um, use the Noibat, trust me. I definitely want to. I mean, Marceline. Trade evolutions are so annoying, though. Yeah, I mean, it is a bit of a hassle. You want to see my campsite or next time since... I guess we can do some camping. I already haven't seen the reactions, so what do you think of Hecapoof's death? Oh, boy. I mean, uh... Just that whole finale was kind of a mess. I definitely got to get a Hecapoof Pokemon. I don't know what. Stand still in the wild area. I want to see if I can connect. Um... I can name a... I don't... Zero Two. I, I haven't seen that show. <laughs> so, okay, let's uh, decide what's going to be in my active party at the moment. I guess we can keep a Stolfo. Um, put in Chrysalis, because I like her. And I'll probably change it when I get to the gym, actually. I don't really know what type the gym is going to be using. I mean, you guys can probably tell me, but I'll find out on my own when I get there. Put in Weiss. Alright, bug type. Just put in a good variety, I guess. that'll do. Yeah. Huh? Name the Trubbish Corona-chan? I think that's a little messed up. I think I'll pass. Um... So, yeah, here we are. And let's actually get going, I think. Add Wooloo to your party. I think I'll pass for now. Name the Trovish after... I mean, that's the only thing I, I, I could think to do, is actually name it after mine. But I, I, I kind of don't even want a mine. Um, let's fight this trainer. Though, stuff was weak. That's from... Uh, oh, and Alba. Maybe I should camp. Someone want to <laughs> share a camp or something? Scroll back to what I said about rock and roll if you didn't see it. Uh, okay. I don't think I did. I'm not seeing anything about Rock and Roller from you. Huh. Yeah, not seeing it. And yeah, the snowing, I mean, it's just basically, uh... The weather seems to be pretty random. It's not really dependent on the actual weather <laughs> in reality. 
<laughs> and uh, the, the, the time of day is. That's the thing. So, I don't, I don't want to camp. Let's just uh, try and use my Pokemon that aren't weak. And we'll go to the Pokemon Center when we're in town. <sighs> Rock and Roll is also a trade evil Pokemon after its second evolution. Okay, interesting. It's at 1108. Okay, I'm all good. Oh, I only have up till 1132. The rest is cut off for me, so that's probably that probably explains it. Let's hope you're not that strong. <laughs> Pokemon Breeder Chloe. No, that's pretty fine. Level 13. Good to me. Nice shard. Always goes first. That's cool. So, hmm. The Weiss doesn't have a huge difference in special attack and attack. It's kind of a sh But for now, I mean, I guess it's more useful than lawyer. In the future, I'll probably ditch one of them. They have the same attack power. Didn't hit itself that time. Let's get you out of there. Last one's gonna be the water type, right? Oh, but we gotta. Oh, wait, all these are weak to fire! Um. Yeah, let's use a potion instead.
Summer Runner, not the water type. Go ahead and swap out for my Oddish. Good job, Mercedes. A couple more levels. Got some winnings. I definitely noticed the items. I need a new team because a lot of you got to level 15. Let's make Dog happy. Kind of uh, missing up the boxes, I just noticed. Gotta keep that in mind, actually. Hello, Celestia. Rocket. Cam. What are you? I don't even know you sold stuff. Okay, so another guy I can buy wishing pieces from. They never talked to him because he was so near the... So near the <laughs> town. This guy too. Oh, your tent color.
klar. Hm. Oh, okay, another toy. Cool. Well, that's cool. Definitely a good guy to talk to. I think we'll hold off on camping, though, again, because I kind of want to actually progress the story. Trying to hatch a shiny rookadee. No on Halloween, why not in April in the game? Rock and Roll of Final Evolution is really cool looking and it's super powerful with the right moveset. Oh, be a good choice as your main rock time. Oh, that's cool, and I named it Mod, so I'll definitely want to use it. Ice Shard, practically the only good ice type move for Sneasel. Okay, well, make sure Shamir learns that. If you find a Pokemon that looks roughly like a chicken, would you name it Scootaloo? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Ange. Yeah, I gotta find something for Ange. I mean, I, I, Princess Principal needs some uh, needs some respect. Why he named Oddish after a car? It's a waifu. <laughs> Fire Emblem. I have no idea what Pokemon are in this game. The only one I ever played was Black. You named a snow runt Weiss? Yeah, well, I mean, one of the evolutions looked like it'd make a good Weiss. I mean, the other one definitely wouldn't, but uh, it has, like, a kind of cute evolution. Interesting perspective, and we got one of these uh, Minkino. Ka. I do like the look of the town here. Hey, over here. Real ace of you to make it through the wild area. Seems like like your trek ran you ra you. Po uh, seems like your trek ran your Pokemon ragged though. You should pop into the Pokemon Center. Besides, there's something in there I bet you'll get a you'll get a kick out of if you're a real trainer and all. Sounds good. Oh look. It looks like the Rotomi's free. Rotomi are a kind of Rotom information service. It's a handy machine for trainers. You can even use one to customize your league card. Okay. Why don't you try playing around with your league card a bit, Serendipity? Here's a sample for you. You got Leon's league card. You put the league card in your album. Show off your achievements by making a league card. You can customize your card using the card maker. Okay, well, cool. I never noticed that thing before. But Motostoke is sure is big, right? Not to worry. Sonya is here to show you around a bit. Come find me after you heal up your Pokemon. The opening ceremony, huh? I get a bit worked up when I think how exciting and moving it was to actually stand on a Stadium's pitch for the first time. Well, she's nice. Thanks for waiting, Mudbray and the rest of your team should be all better now. We hope to see you again. Well, yeah, let's look at this league card. 
Poke jobs. That's interesting. Let's do the card though first. Mm. Oh. <laughs> no. Let's just go with a simple background for now. I'm sure I'll get better ones eventually. So right now most of these kind of suck. <laughs> That's a weird face. Cool. What is this Poke Jobs thing? Pokemon are in high demand as helpers in the Galar region, and you're able to send your own Pokemon out to help out on jobs. The Pokemon you send out will gain grow stronger from the experience they gain. Job postings will be updated every day. Good things will begin to happen if you send lots of Pokemon to many jobs. So keep an eye out for me. Well, this is kind of cool. Multi purpose fabric development, huh? Looking for normal type Pokemons? Up to three? Okay, let's, let's do it. Send some normal types? I don't know if I have too many normal types. Especially, I mean, I want to send lower leveled ones, obviously, because you're going to get experience from this. I mean, she's dark normal, so I guess I can send her Italia. That's a flying normal. And Katori, obviously. It's just pure normal. I'm not gonna need normal types for the gym, so uh, that works. I'll watch you guys are all screaming at me not to do that one. <laughs> Probably not. I mean, there can't be anything wrong with it. You got a bunnel bee? No, I don't have a bunnel bee, and I don't want to squove it. So. Uh, I'll pass. What do you got? Pokeballs. I think I'm good on most of this. Well, I don't have a lot of this stuff, actually. But I got 23 revives, so... <laughs> I'm good. I don't know. I'm trying to talk to the... Oh, wait. No. Oh! <laughs> 
<laughs> what do you sell? Oh, different balls. Interesting. Or during battle. Yeah, that's not useful. These are interesting, though. Hmm. Water or bug type. Lower level. I'm gonna buy some of these just in case I run into some water or bug. <laughs> Let's explore. <laughs> I'm. I never t get tired of watching those giant steam-powered gears turning. They are pretty cool. Oh, item. I'll get. Motostuck is something else. What other city has a lift to take you between the upper and lower districts? It wants me to go talk to Sonya, doesn't it? Making me go back. So, brilliant young trainer who's braved the wild area, do you remember what your goal in wild area, in Motostok is? I'm here for the gym challenge. Yep, the gym challenge opening ceremony. By the way, the ceremony tomorrow is being held at the Motostoke Stadium, okay? Oh. Onyx. Use that lift over there to get to the stadium, okay? Well, laters, I'm going to swing by the shops while I'm here, but don't forget to register at the stadium, okay? Well, I gotta explore this town. Before I do that, though, I'll go ahead and check the chat one more time. Mm. Artie, I drew a thing. Trick DMs, okay, day. What did you draw? Oh, that's cute. Nice uh, bit of fan art there, Saren and a Jigglypuff. And I gotta. That's uh, I guess that's your license or, or... there, Crimson. That's cute. I like it. Sonya is hot. Yes, she is. Marnie is best girl. Bay is Bay. Bia, I guess, maybe? Yeah, that's the one I'm not seeing. Now your card is very cute, Crimson. Mmm... <laughs> awesome, we're reacting to my categorizations. Do you have a Pokemon named Philo? Yes, 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 I do. Uh, it's a, uh, it's the pigeon one, P Dove. I guess it's a dove. Kind of a pigeon dove cross of some sort. Mm. They couldn't find any Wooloo to use as a roadblock, so they just used two dudes. <laughs> Is Pokemon Sword and Shield separate games? I mean, technically. 
Have I seen Galarian Ponyta yet? Yes, I have. Someone did show me that. And it's evolution, so that's not going to be a surprise to me. And I'm probably going to name mine Celestia. I thought Rarity for a while, but uh, it looks more like a Celestia, so that's probably what I'll go with. Um, I have to catch a Snom? Not familiar with Snom, but uh, I'll probably catch one. Um, there's a cafe where you can challenge the cafe master, and if you win, you'll be rewarded with a treat or something, okay? Um, how do I find this game so far, RD? I haven't been watching that much and haven't played that much Pokemon myself. I'm really liking it. As someone who hasn't been into the series for well over a decade now, it's actually a nice, uh, nice game to return on, I think. It, it, it feels, it's, uh... I don't know, I've, I've been enjoying it. I mean, I've been playing it a lot. It, uh... Kind of helps that I'm done with Xenoblade now, so I uh, need something to play. Um, female P-Dub is still a mistake. Uh, I don't know. Check DMs for an accurate comment. Comic. Okay, Doc, what do you got? Oh, well, that's nice. Hatterene and uh, Gardevoir looking pretty good. No. Oh. Um. <laughs> okay, well, that's interesting. I, uh. Don't know what to make of that. Imagine if they made two Pokemon games, one at all the waifu generators. <laughs> I mean, you know you gotta go with the waifu ones. Just always go for the waifus. <sighs> Didn't expect to see this. Glad you're liking it. Yeah, I definitely am. Why is female Pete have a mistake? 